In this video, I'm going to go through my usual village planning steps that will help guide the scenes design. No matter your potter knowledge or village skill level, starting at the beginning is a good way to help you focus, especially since there are so many directions you could go when you have the wizarding world at your fingertips. So my theme for this display is Hogwarts Castle and the grounds surrounding the castle. Once I've got my theme set, I'm going to start researching and looking for inspirations. I found a lot of cool pictures and artist renderings and maps of Hogwarts on my Pinterest page if you want to take a look and check it out. Rereading the books and rewatching the films would be an excellent source of inspiration. I usually jot down keywords, which might be helpful to you as you plan your scene. It's helpful for me to identify these words to help narrow my display focus. Grounded and safe, accessible and inviting, majestic and full of wonder. You might imagine Hogwarts differently. It depends on what intrigues you and that will help guide you in your own display creation. Next, time period. It really isn't my main focus here in this display. Hogwarts from the outside is kind of timeless. My only time period would be that I envision displaying Hogwarts in the summertime. Next is identifying some key colors, and this depends on what season you want your castle to be in. Summer is the season that I'm selecting, so I'm going to go with using a lot of greens and browns. I need the colors to be bright and bold and cheerful. The needs are what items are essential for telling the story of your theme. For a Hogwarts castle display, first and foremost, you really need Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. There are several versions of Hogwarts castles that you can buy or make even. At this very time, from village-specific makers, you can get a castle from Department 56 and Hawthorne Village. There's a Hallmark version, it's one piece, and it also has some cool light effects and music. And there are others from Lego, there are 3D puzzles, you can make one out of paper, you could even do a printout and have Hogwarts in the background and build a village out from the front of it. Whichever direction you choose to go, keep size, storage, and price in mind. And if you have a preferred Hogwarts version that you really like displaying, share it with us by leaving a comment. The ones are secondary to the storytelling, things that you could do without, but would be really cool to add if you could. For a Hogwarts display, there are a lot of features on the castle grounds and nearby that would be awesome to add to a display. In no particular order, here are some of the ones that I could think of. You've got the Owlry, the greenhouses, bridges, walls, and gates. There are several of each. You've got the Quidditch pitch, of course the Forbidden Forest, and some inhabitants. And how about some main characters? Hagrid's Hut, the Whomping Willow, the lake, maybe the boathouse and boats, and things that you see on or in or emerging from the lake. Hogwarts Express. Even though the train station is away from the grounds, the train is so iconic. And there's so many more. There's the Shrinking Shack, the train stop, Hogsmeade, horseless carriages. It all depends on what products are available out there and what you have space to display. Please let me know of any wants that I have not listed. So based on all of this, the last step of your planning process is to sketch out what you want your display to look like. What is your perfect vision of this scene? You'll start with your needs and then work in your wants. This is just to give you an idea of what your display could look like. I'll often add items in that I don't have yet, just so that I can reserve space for them later on when I do get them. Your sketch is your guide and can always be changed later. Your sketch may be different from mine, probably look a lot better than mine, so make it completely unique to you. And that concludes the planning stage of my Hogwarts Village display. Next up is design and construction. I'll be breaking up the construction phase into separate videos as many construction steps are really side projects all on their own. I'll be focusing on my specific display but hopefully these videos will help you with your own display or at least show you some villaging techniques along the way. And then we'll have setup and finale. Much more to come. Stay tuned and happy villaging.